Hi, thanks for joining me today for this Get Ready to Ride Flow. So this is gonna be a video that you can do if you are warming up to ride your horse, if you're warming up to do any other kind of physical activity, or just um, a video that you can do anytime that you want to get your body moving. We're gonna work a little bit on shoulders and upper back, core and hips, which are all beneficial for riders and anybody for that matter. So we're gonna start in a mountain pose. So feet hip distance apart, lift all your toes up off your mat, spread the toes and place the toes back down. So think of finding that nice grounded foundation. Let the fingertips reach down by your side. And then just close the eyes for a few moments, just letting your focus begin to turn inward, just kind of check in and notice how you feel today. If you'd like, you can bring your hands to your heart or one hand to the heart, one hand to the lower belly. But just again, notice how you feel and start to focus on your breath. Gently deepening the breath as you breathe in and out of the nose. feeling your connection with the earth and the flow of the energy and the breath through the body and gently let the eyes open so from that mountain pose arms are reaching down by your side inhale float the arms all the way up and overhead arms into two parallel lines reach up through the fingertips press down through the feet and then as you exhale, turn the palms down, float the arms back down by your side. So we'll do that a few times, just warming up the shoulders. Inhale, arms floating up and overhead. And exhale, turn the palms down, float the arms back down. Good, one more time like that. Inhale. And exhale. Now this time, as you inhale, float the arms up, lift the toes up off the mat. So you really feel the ball of the foot and the heel in pressing into the mat. And then exhale, float the arms down and press the toes back down. So warming up a little bit through the feet. Inhale, float the arms up, lift the toes up. Think of lifting the kneecaps up, engage the muscles in the legs. Exhale, float the arms back down as the toes come back down. One more time like that, inhale. Float the arms up, lift and spread the toes, and then exhale, float the arms down and let the toes come back down to the mat. So this time, inhale, float the arms again up and overhead. Just keep the toes grounded this time. Palms together, take the gaze up. As you exhale, bring the hands down the midline of the body, bend the knees, fold all the way down to a standing forward bend. And then inhale, come halfway up. Let the hands slide up the fronts of the legs. So either landing them on the shins, the knees, the thighs, whatever feels comfortable for you. Just keep the knees a little bit bent if you need to, to keep a nice length in your spine. So we're gonna nice energy through the crown of the head. And then exhale, bend the knees all and fold all the way back down. So we'll do that a couple times. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, fold all the way down. One more time, inhale, halfway up. Think of drawing that lower belly in, working core here too. Exhale, fold all the way down, and then float the arms out to the side, press into the feet, and come all the way up to that extended mountain pose, arms overhead, palms together, hands to the heart. So come to the top of your mat if you're not already there. Same thing, we'll find that nice grounded foundation through our mountain pose. Pressing into the feet, inhale, float the arms up palms together exhale the hands down to the heart folding all the way down inhale halfway lift lengthen through the crown of the head this time bend the knees out over the toes sit bones behind you reach the arms forward so the arms can be at shoulder height you can keep your hands on your hips or you can bring the arms up alongside the ears for so for those of you who are equestrians it's very sim uh, similar to our jump position inhale and exhale. Think of drawing the lowest ribs towards the hips. We want to keep in core engaged here. Don't just let the belly kind of sag down. Inhale and exhale, then press into the feet. Inhale all the way back up. Bring the palms together. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Inhale, float the arms up. Palms together. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, bend the knees out over the toes. Again, come to that chair pose, your variation. Make sure the knees are tracking right towards the little toe side of the foot. So they're not knocking towards the knees, but not winging way out. Inhale and exhale. 
and then fold all the way down both hands to the mat. We're going to take a big step back with the right leg and the left leg coming to a plank pose. So wrist under the shoulder, spread the fingers wide. You can drop the knees down to the mat if you need for a little bit more support for the lower back. But think of drawing that lower belly in and up. Make sure the shoulders don't hang down. Make sure you're pressing away from the mat, lengthening through the crown of the head. Make sure the hips aren't sagging down. Lift those hips up. Inhale and exhale. Now draw lower belly in and up, sit bones up and back. Come to downward facing dog. Let's keep the knees bent here. Stay on the toes. Get a nice length through the sides of the body, lengthen through the crown of the head. Inhale and exhale. Now press down through the left heel. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Bend the knee, step the right leg up beside the right hand, coming to our low lunge. Lower the back knee down, left knee down, and curl the toes. Make sure the right heel is under the knee. Press into the feet. Inhale, float the arms all the way up and overhead. So as we're here, arms overhead, think of engaging core muscles, draw the lowest ribs towards the hips, inhale, and exhale, and then release the hands down behind you, interlace the fingers, draw the shoulder blades together, nice deep inhale, exhale, gently rotate your gaze to the right, little stretch with the neck, inhale back to center, exhale, rotate your gaze to the left, inhale back to center, release the hands, float the arms all the way up and overhead, palms together exhale bring the hands down to the mat curl the back toes under lift the back knee right leg back beside the left downward facing dog inhale and exhale knees could be bent or legs straight your option inhale and exhale now really pressing down through the right heel inhale lift the left leg up it doesn't matter how high bend the knee step it left foot up beside the left hand lower the right knee down and curl the toes press into the top of that back foot that right foot left heel under the knee press into the feet inhale float the arms all the way up and overhead lowest ribs draw towards the hips find your breath inhale and exhale Good. Then release the hands again behind you. So this time, opposite thumb on top. Draw the shoulder blades together. Open up through the front of the chest. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, rotate your gaze to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, rotate your gaze to the right. Inhale, back to center. Release the hands, float the arms all the way up and overhead. Exhale, both hands down to the mat. Curl the back toes under, lift the back knee. This time we're gonna step back to plank pose once again. So left leg back beside the right. Lengthen through the crown of the head, press through the heels. Think of lifting up between the shoulder blades and lifting that lower belly up so the hips don't sag. You can always have your knees down to the mat. Inhale and exhale. Now draw lower belly in and up, sit bones up and back. Come to downward facing dog, take a breath, inhale and exhale and then looking towards the hands let's pedal the feet and just walk the feet towards the hands you can also take a couple big steps if you'd like landing up into that standing forward bend knees bent take hold of opposite elbows nice stretch here inhale and exhale and then pressing into the feet float the arms out to the side we're going to come all the way back up to that extended mountain pose Palms together, exhale, bring the hands to the heart, take a breath. Inhale and exhale. So now let's come to face the long edge of the mat. So we get a little warm up for the legs if we are getting ready to get into the saddle. So step the feet wide, toes point towards the long edge of your mat. Think here, think of lifting the toes again. You'll feel a little bit different in the ball of the foot. So we wanna really think of pressing down into the ball joint of the big toe and the inside of the heel so the ankles don't roll out. And then land the toes back down on the mat, kneecaps lift, sternum lifts, energy through the crown of the head. Bring the arms out by your side, fingertips extending out to our star pose. Inhale and exhale. Now turn the palms up, bring the arms into a nice wide V shape. Extending through the fingertips, take a breath, inhale and exhale. And then once again, release the hands down behind you, interlace the fingers, press down through the knuckles. Nice deep inhale, exhale, gently rotate the gaze to the right. Inhale back to center, exhale, gently rotate the gaze to the left and back to center. Now bring the hands to the hips, let's turn the toes so they're pointing towards the front corners of the mat. 
hands to the inner thighs. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, bend the knees towards the ends of your mat, landing the knees over top of the heels still. Nice stretch in the inner thighs. Horse stance here in yoga pose, Sanskrit. Name escapes me for the moment, but this is our horse stance. Inhale and exhale. Now bring those arms out by your side. This time, palms face up, bend the elbows, come to goddess pose. Inhale and exhale. Now press into the feet. Inhale, straighten the arms, straighten the legs. And then when, once again, exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows. So we're gonna do that a couple of times. Press into the feet, inhale, straighten the arms, straighten the legs. And exhale back to your goddess pose. Good, couple more times. Really warming up those inner thighs and outer thighs. Good, once again, exhale and inhale. Now this time we're gonna come here to this um, goddess pose. Find a focal point, something to gently gaze at. Little test of balance here. See if you can lift your heels up off the ground this time, balance on your toes. Make sure you're breathing. Find that core strength, inhale and exhale. Good, then release the heels back down, press into the feet, straighten the arms, straighten the legs. This time bring the arms to that nice wide, um, extended out star pose. And now turn the toes back to center, hands to the hips, heel, toe, the feet back to center. Find your mountain pose once again. Inhale and exhale. And then coming back again to the end of the mat, press into the feet. Find your core, find your mountain. Inhale, float the arms up. Bring the palms together, exhale the hands to the heart, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway up, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, bring both hands down to the mat, bending the knees. Now step back to plank pose one last time. Right leg steps back, left leg steps back. Find your core here, press through the heels. Inhale and exhale. Another breath, inhale and exhale, and then release the knees to the mat, crisscross the ankles, or you can sweep the feet off to the side and just come through to a seat. Once you come through to your seated position, the legs down in front, one more little core sequence here. So find your balance on your sit bones, hands behind the thighs, draw the shoulder blades together. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, tap the right toes down. Don't let the whole foot land, just the big toe. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, lower it down. So we'll do this a couple times. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower, and inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Now challenge yourself a little bit, finding your balance. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Lifting and lowering, inhaling, and exhale. So as the left leg lowers, the right leg lifts. As the right leg lowers, the left leg lifts. Maybe lift both legs. Lift the sternum, maybe straighten one leg a tiny bit, and then the other leg a tiny bit. Find your balance, find your core. Inhale and exhale. You can always modify by bringing your hands back behind you or even bring your toes down to the mat. Inhale and exhale. And then very gently cross the feet at the ankles and just take a little forward bend. Find the hint, that hinge at the hip, let your head release down, just take your focus inward, nice stretch to the back of the body. Notice your breath. Notice how your body feels. And then very gently bringing yourself back up to a seated position. And as you come to a comfortable seated position, hands resting on the thighs, palms up or down, whatever's comfortable. Again, if you're feel comfortable, let the eyes close for a few moments. Let's connect with the rhythm of your breath. Again, noticing how you feel. As you're ready, gently let the eyes open. So thank you so much for joining me today for this Get Ready to Ride Flow. Again, it can be used to get you ready for a lot of different activities, especially good for riding. So I hope to see you sometime soon in the saddle or on the mat. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.